It's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm in Mabinang with Nail. So, what do you do? I'm a fashion designer. Um, and what's the name of your brand? My name of the brand is Play Play. Oh, why do you name it that? Um, because I believe that everything. Well, actually, this is how it started. Um, all my friends in varsity went and did accounting and law and law and whatever else and all these very academic um, courses. And I decided to do fashion design. And I went to visit them um, on their campus, so the first week of their schooling, uh, their first um, varsity days. And they kind of like laughed at me and said, what are you studying? It's a joke. It's kind of basically just playing in class. And I kind of took that and I just ran with it. And I thought, fine, let me just take this thing that people think, or this career or this course that people think is a joke and is mediocre. And I thought, let me just make it a career. And I love it. And it's actually, funny enough, has almost become a child's play to me because it's like second nature, or, you know, designing and, and looking for material and dressing people is kind of play play to me. So I, I literally enjoy what I do and it's almost like I'm having fun all the time. It is, I'm always having fun. So okay, that's why. Cool. Um, so um, what kind of styles do you, um, you, yeah, d is your design? Well, I usually use African prints mainly or African inspired um, embroidery or beading. <coughs> like you can see, I have a sweater here, it's a regular nice. sweater. I cropped it so it's like pretty short and I put um, uh, print uh, embroidery on it. So I kind of like try and break boundaries when it comes to that. I experiment with ethnicities, different kinds, because I think. When you look at like Mexican culture or Indian or African, there's always something there. There's always like, kind of prints that are similar, and so I play around with a lot of things when it comes to that. I don't really have one specific style or way, but yeah, um, I make for men and women as well. So it's daytime, nighttime wear, any kind of, you know, as long as you can dress it up to your occasion. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so what school skills do you need when you're um, being a fashion designer? Um, in high school or in, in like general okay well first of all you have to have a passion for it you have to know that you're, you're, you're called to do it otherwise it's it's not something that's easy it's not glamorous at all um, I spend hours sewing and nobody sees that but people see me looking good and they think that's all I do look socialize and look good um, it's hard work so you have to love it that's number one um, if you know how to draw if you have um, an eye for color um, if you have an eye for textures and shapes and you know how to like work with those kind of things um, Generally people who are into um, any kind of design if you're if you're interested in most kinds of design architecture graphic It's easy for you to then branch into that if you're if you like it So you don't you don't really have to have a specific I mean, academic um, you know um, yeah, poor Focal points whatever. It's just you have to have a passion for it because once you have that passion um, Anything can you can make it happen whether you can do it yourself or you can find other people, you'll make it happen because that's what you want to do, you know? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and um, what's, so um, you do really, like, reading, writing, can you tell me? Do I? Like, skills with reading and writing. Any skills with reading and writing? <laughs> like, yeah, in school, school skills. I don't... Like, like, for young girls in school? Yeah. yeah. What kind of things would be useful for you? Concentrate on? <laughs> when it comes to fashion design, when it, yeah. Um, in school, I would say um, maths. Funny enough, <laughs> yeah. There's something called pattern uh, pattern making, and it's all calculations. And it's being you have to basically calculate what um, flat piece of paper, how it can form itself into a 3D. Um, garment. So that's one. You don't have to be really a math expert, but you have to like that. Um, of course, uh, your English subjects and stuff in general. You have to read. You have to know how to speak to people like you, yeah. to customers and all that. So it's, it's generally English, math, art, that kind of stuff. Um, any tips you'd give somebody who wanted to start fashion designing? Um, it's a very tough business to be in. Um, it's very hard. You have to, once again, passion has to come there first. Um, it's not easy. If you think about it, um, the most important things that you've done today to get you to where you are had nothing to do with clothing. Yes, you, you didn't buy clothes. Did. You have clothes that you've had for years, but you probably had to eat food that was newer than the clothes. 
You used toothpaste that was newer than the clothes. You came here with petrol or gas that was newer than the clothes. So it's, it's kind of like very hard business to be in because people, the last thing people think about is buying clothes when it comes to the necessities in life. So number one is passion. Um, um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, well, that was um, Neo yeah. and Go Go Media Girl.